In this video I want to show how you can change such a simple micro parameter salvage from an old tuner or cassette deck into a precision voltmeter. So that's what this video is all about. I did a lot of experiments with this uh, micro parameter and with this type of micro parameters there are uh, some small problems. They are often not linear, so uh, that means that um, the voltage applied to them uh, not corresponds completely with the position of the pointer. Of course it, it uh, corresponds with the position of the pointer, but there is a very small range, for instance, here, where you can find a, a quite big uh, voltage difference. Here you see it in a circuit that I've drawn. Uh, for instance, when you don't use a, an amplifier circuit and only use a voltage divider and connect the microparameter on the lower side of the voltage divider, you will find that this is for instance 30 volts and here is 20 volts. So it's difficult to read out this part of the scale. And um, what I needed was an, uh, a voltmeter with a big scale. So an extended scale where I could read out all the different values between uh, 30 volts and approximately 20 volts. And here you see how I made that circuit finally. In fact it's a... Uh, small amplifier, current amplifier. This is the BC547B, uh, 2K5 uh, potentiometer and here a 220 ohms potentiometer and here is the micro parameter. that's this micro in this in this case and this micro parameter has a DC resistance from 750 ohms. And I found that when I uh, tested this circuit, after a lot of other tests, for instance with the Wheatstone bridge, etc., uh, that this uh, circuit worked properly. I took a potentiometer here, and the, the, an important issue from this circuit is that you have to align it completely to your own personal needs. Here I needed this uh, voltage range, but when you need another voltage range, perhaps you have to change the values from the used resistors. But okay, I want to demonstrate that now. Uh, my voltage apply is now at 30 volts. And here I uh, have set the meter to 3. That's pure coincidental. I can change that with this potentiometer or with this potentiometer. Now I change it for instance a little bit. Okay, it's 3, 30 volts and now I go back to lower voltages. Uh, 27 volts. 26. 23.7, 20, and finally 19 volts. So uh, you can see that the, uh, the scale from the meter uh, is precise now and it's extended uh, compared to the original situation when we use this meter in a normal voltage divider. This is the new situation. This is 20 volts and this is 30 volts. So finally I'm going to take this meter apart and write um, a new scale here. Put a piece of paper in it, glue it in the meter and then um, I make uh, separate marks here for all these different voltages between 20 and 30 volts. 
very easy to make circuit and it draws approximately 3 milliampere. So that's not much for a precision voltmeter. And when you take of course a meter with a very long scale, uh, the precision from the meter will rise um, much more. So you can make the whole circuit much more precise so that it can be uh, read out on one tenth or perhaps even more of a fault. And finally, of course, when all is aligned to the situation that you want and need, um, replace all these carbon film resistors with fixed value um, metal film resistors to make it um, stable and more precise.